I'm Scott Euknis for Climate Impact Company. What are the governing factors for the summer forecast across South America? There are several prominent regions of sea surface temperature anomalies, all of them featuring very warm signatures. The first of two off each coast, one to the west of Peru and another one southeast of Brazil. These sea surface temperature anomaly patterns will lead to high pressure. They've actually already done that which will increase the risk of hot weather across South America for the upcoming summer. In the Enso region of the eastern equatorial Pacific, a weak La Nina will persist, strong enough to cause dryness over central and southeast portions of Brazil. To the north, it is warmer than normal over the tropics of the western portion of the Atlantic Ocean. That will support what are the normal conditions for northern portions of South America. Now, as far as the upper level pattern is concerned, due to the sea surface temperature anomaly signature, high pressure is likely to be quite amplified. It already is off Peru and also southeast of Brazil. Now, these high pressure regions are occasionally going to extend over the continent, bringing hot and dry climate to Argentina and also hot and dry periods over central and southeast Brazil. As far as Enso is concerned, we have weak La Nina in place. That's not going to change. We don't expect the La Nina to become quite intense. We also don't expect to flip over to El Nino in 2017. The La Nina is weak, but strong enough to produce dryness over central and southeast Brazil for upcoming summer. Soil moisture conditions are very important to the summer outlook. Across most of Brazil right now, soil moisture is drier than normal, while across Argentina, wet soils persist. We expect these conditions to change somewhat over the summer season. Wet weather over central and northern Brazil will cause soil moisture to turn much wetter, although southeast portions of Brazil will be quite dry. The wet signature across Argentina is expected to gradually reverse during the summer season, but not quickly enough to cause a drought.